hold a very strong position on it, especially since they took them down on it. Let's get into it. It's OXG versus TSM. At the moment here, it's really TSM waiting for Oxygen to make a move, and they've finally done it, but it's not paying off for TSM in any way, shape, or form here. Bolo, the only player that's been able to impact here. Shio gonna get a piece of the action, too. In fact, let's make it a double kill as they move through. Oh, Whoa. what? TSM end up scavenging that round in the very last seconds by fragging it out against the entire OXG roster. OXG! Had remained stalwart up until that final moment finally some aggression from them and even then it was relatively restrained but still tsm explode suddenly at the end of the round and take it anyway time i mean very slow tsm working their way towards the site but making sure that they don't miss anything oh my god bolo a quick double kill more execution style than anything greater freedom to play in kids right now merc gonna try to flash in push slash into a corner again but he'll try to swing it and it'll pay the price for that as merc's gonna be able to take him down and bringing this into a four versus three Four nice pickup here from Chalo though. Bolo knives Bio as he's been down, but now it's all down to Foxe. He can try and make something happen here. MP5 in hand, and that angled grip definitely going to be worth something here. But plant going down from Geo inside of Dorms. Quick gunfire here from Bolo. Takes down Foxe. Mind you, they still have a second hard breacher as well as all three of the ex Kairos, but they're actually just going to ignore those and try to rush right in. TSM very much ready oh. for that beautiful shot from Merc. And there you go, TSM shuts it all down with one exception there being the knife kill from Laxing. Other than that, it's just a non-starter for OXG and TSM have no problem taking that round. TSM's defense remains strong. They're up by two and there's only a minute left on the clock. Oxygen has to make this attack work. Otherwise the map is over. Bolo hears the call to start rotating as well. Tries to find a pick on a run out, but will not be able to happen. And Merc taking a second there to figure out what's going on. But he does seal the deal with the final pickup against Bio. And TSM are going to be able to control their own map pick here as they take control over Oregon. As he takes out Foxe and brings, starts bringing the numbers down. Yeah, you can see him still deep in the site there. Might have been able to get that on a top down. Problem is, he's still got more pressure coming his way as Bio is now going to take up a very similar position. The good news is Bolo's here to save the day. Slash also going to get dropped now that Merc has the confidence to swing over towards the billiards window. Vert's going to try to hop in over here and he'll be supported by Laxing. A nice double pickup from them to move in. However, Merc is there just as quickly to work with Bolo to shut down those two remaining pushes and give the round over to TSM for him. Besides that, no one has even taken a hit here. Got this very, very scary looking passive fight going on right now over at initiation. They've just lost the Banshee. They try to throw a Nitro into it. That's not going to work out, but Bolo's assistance will. However, only enables a one for one as Fox is still able to manage Geo. Merc is able to put down a push elsewhere as I believe they try to swing in for office control too, leading to mixed results there and ultimately still leaving TSM with the man advantage, but only by one. Merc, waiting for his opportunity. Firing a bit prematurely there. Gives up the chance, but thankfully corrects it very quickly. However, he'll oh. go down and Vert will find another player sitting right behind Merc's body. That's Chala going down too. It brings us into a 2v2, but Bolo once again securing things for his squad here. Gets the double as he knocks out Laxing. Vert will be the last to fall as Achieved seals the deal here. For where in that department? Really trying to make this work onto Laxane, but he is the master of disguise as he quickly skimpers around sight, but not before Bolo puts a bullet in his brain. Merc follows suit as well, takes down Fox. A. That's all left of the site players here with Slash and Vertical. Last two here are also going to be the two trying to play closest to the site. Vertical's going to have to wrap back around, but he also might be a surprise. No, never mind. Merc immediately deletes Vertical here. Everything falls to Slash. He's a surprise at first, but he can't make the impact that is needed. So it is a flawless round for TSM as they take the initial on their attack and go up to five. And this is going to be the most difficult part for them since Oxygen's been allowed to survive for the most part. These crossfires are very dangerous for them to try and walk into now. You can see TSM is trying to put pressure on multiple fronts, but this is the problem when a defenseman is able to work his way out and get a pick. You've now cleared up that entire portion of the map. You're now down to a one front attack, but it doesn't matter when your name's Jason Bolo as he takes down two with two clean headshots. Still has plenty of find as well as some TSM members in tow to assist. Chala starts to plan up. Geo's got one for himself. Slash Ugg, the only member that remains, and oh, he's no. not going to last very long. TSM cleans him up. Oh, well, we could see some aggressive plays here, but Chief is already ready for the hop out from Foxe inside of Break. So, TSM 
now actually with the big early kill onto vertical from I don't necessarily know where that Jaeger <laughs> getting taken down. I believe he's inside of sight as well, if I remember the setup correctly. So a top what a pick from then. Yeah, more than like, oh, oh actually yellow. tried to rotate up yellow. Yeah, it gets taken down on the yellow rotate instead. This player right here, folks, laxing dead in the water extremely early on. Now they know that Fox is around here because of the noise he made earlier. This player on Repel absolutely hurt. Oh. Great denial, by the way, there from Bio. That stops Merc from doing anything else. Fox a bit too bold as he tries to go for the hop out shotgun shot. Does not pan out and Bolo will win out that fight, putting TSM back into control now with about a minute and a half left. Day four vertical, but this kill so very impactful on this round. Oxygen need this in order to stay inside of winner's bracket. Bolo with a very nice move here trying to play time. Oh my goodness gracious. Can he do it? He takes down one. Can't get the second. Oh, very quiet footsteps. There is it's an equal trade, but with minimal time remaining, TSM has to try and lock down all doors, bat in the hatches as Oxygen tries to force their way in. They need this plant and they need it now. Ace is going off, but it's a pick for Fox across the field. Geo takes down one achieved with the other and tsm lock it out on time as slash drops the case oh. and win it doesn't seem likely but what a shot from bolo down goes canadian suddenly a two versus three make that a two versus two with only 13 seconds left this is actually very winnable for tsm if bolo and merc continue to land their shots bosco and thinking aid making the entry they need to get the plant there's no time it's going to be a 2v1 it will be forced coverage from bosco he has to land everything and it just won't happen exactly where the doc is going to look to strike he's posted inside of the main lobby this is where he was before and he's got the long <gasps> angle but he gets smoked by bosco what a shot from the habana who very immediately pivots over to the mirror window he doesn't know achieved will swing on him and he loses it but there's only one second left plant is going down chala will have to stop it and he won't but achieved will with a second left towards cool vibe stairs and i have a feeling that if well, if SSG lands their shots for TSM, it will be anything but cool vibes. There you go. Two of them for TSM knocked down. Both Achieved and Merc off the board. Geo will follow. Bolo taking some damage now. Ooh. Refrags from Bolo as he lines them up and he hits both, but a Nitro Cell will be his undoing. A 1v3. Rampy so low, so is Fultz. And L85 will be able to tear right through them. Waiting to see if he'll go off. There goes Fultz. You'll need to swing. And there's another! How about the ace for Ch for Chala? What an incredible play, my goodness! Especially given how close it is. And I know it's not all just about kills, but TSM are gonna need to find a little bit more. And they'll start with Bosco. Down he goes to Merc with Chala, Merc, and Bolo all finding the score sheet. Thinking Dave will try to hold out. He picks up two kills and he's got the diffuser down as well. He pivots towards the bathroom and slowly inching up. He'll need to find his target. There it is. A third kill. A fourth almost. Pistol out. Diffuser is still down. But Rampy's in on this one. Inbursts achieved, but he won't have any time at all. Rampy just needs to play keep away. Map number one goes towards Space Station. They win it. 7-4. Ozzy were very much in the meta. Merc picks off Fultz, and that's down on blue. Fultz had been a central figure here, and now down goes Bosco as well. Geo, okay. You turn and pick up two and then drop off. Thinking Nade finds the only kill for Space Station so far. This is what TSM needed desperately. Damage. You'll have to get a smoke to go down, but they all miss. Nitro Cell finally gets it, but the Diffuser goes down anyway. So now it's a scramble to try and retake the site for TSM. SSG have everything lined up, and they find three kills. Four kills, Rampy in particular. Make that five. No, Merc says not today. Not yet, at least. He's got a lot of work to do, though, and he won't be able to do any of it. Lots of time for SSG to continue their execution, and it gets better for them. As they eliminate Chala, Merc will lose his tussle with Bosco, leaving just Geo in a 1v5. It's just not going to happen. A flawless round for Space Station. They pick apart TSM one player at a time. That's all that matters. Canadians got a surplus of munition, but it's not going to be any good. Merc has been down, so Geo will fire back from the construction doorway. TSM are all pushing from roughly the same angle, and there's going to be toxic canisters raining on down. Chala's in. Damage being done from Bosco. He's patrolling the area. He needs to play keep away, and he knows it. He takes out the Zofia, and Marks are coming in with the SMG in hand. All he needs to do is live. Plant going down. Bosco tries to clutch, oh. but they peel off, and it's match point for SSG. He's not going to give his position away. Watching and fighting a phantom force. One for Thinking Nate as there goes to jump in. Two for him, three for him. Thinking Nate has been absolutely inhuman so far. And Bosco will seal the deal. An even more decisive map number two. And it's a quick one for Space Station. They're in the grand finals tomorrow.
Oh, it could be the pickup from Eclipse, but he looks away at the last second. Doesn't even matter, though. Hot and cold at range. Takes him down. Bolo looking for his first frag of the game, and he'll get it. Uh, looking for the second, and that's a double for him on the round. Still has a lot more work to do, and he has Chala to assist. Case on Chala as well. He needs to start this plant. Very low HP for Bolo as he's on Overwatch, but missed positions here for Dark Zero. Bolo gets one. He pre-fires the other angle. They have drones inside of Bench, oh! and Bolo can do it! That's exactly what we expect out of this man. DSM pick up their first round on offense. Pretty sure those were some of the last bullets in his magazine too, if not the last bullets themselves. So really good stuff from Bolo there. Just pacing the pre-fire perfectly and the last burst from him lines up exactly where it needs to be to shut down that 2v2. Beautiful play from Bolo. We have to remember that's a 4k from him because he also got the two entries as well on the inside of Cafeteria where he's going to try and delay with those smoke charges. Bolo commits himself to his initial fight through a top-down angle going up towards Piano, but generally comes out on the losing end of it there. He's at sub-25 basically here now. However, turns it around against guys and quickly flicks over to Yellow Stairs to take out Mint. They may still be in this round yet. It's down to the wire with 13 seconds left. Chala sees the barrel of a gun. Hyper will take out Bolo. There'll be some damage on the Chala, but he's dodging bullets right now. And one more pump from the M590 will clutch it out as Chala gets it done for TSM. What a round from Shala and Bolo to shut down Dark Zero. Both of them coming into their own inside of that round, making some huge highlight plays. Tries to go for a very nice shot, but can't eventually get the lineup. Finally does, takes down Mitt, and Bolo on the other end of the map gets a double kill of his own. It seems as though the duo here on TSM is finally back in good business, but Merc gets shut down. Eclipse, AK in hand. Hopefully he's got a couple magazines because he's got a lot of problems that are all inside of his hands. Achieved, Bolo, and Geo all on the board. The biggest problem for him now is actually achieved, and it's not because of the scoreline. It's simply because of all that intel that he has at his disposal. He will have to pretty much frag it out at this point. He's lost control over the diffuser. Not really much of a hope of getting that back and being able to play the objective in this 1v3. He's got two players peeking oh, up. Oh, oh, nearly had the lineup he needed for the second kill, too. This, though, what Dark Zero is going to look to accomplish is still very much up in the air. They actually have every position they need to attack the site, but they didn't finish clearing out the upstairs, and they've grown a bit ignorant of it. So Bolo's going to be able to roll in here, and between him and Achieve, they'll pick up three different kills. Achieve having to swing up the steps to get his. And we'll start to see the counter come in, but it lasts a very, very short period of time as Bolo immediately takes out Hotton, gets his third on the round, and brings everything down to Mitt, who's now trapped behind a Banshee with no way forward, as it would seem. Somebody's going to need to get Bolo <laughs> a bigger on. bag because he's putting them all in it right now. This is insanity. Mint, the last one alive, does have a frag grenade for some assistance, oh, but no. probably not going to work out. Achieve makes a quick phone call and sends some very explosive business uh, Dark Zero's way. Ends up cleaning that round, though. TSM looking quite strong, but it's mostly been the Bolo show. I will say that. Meantime, Bolo's been waiting for an opportunity to strike on that back end for pretty much the entire round. He finally gets it there as he takes a bit of damage, but unfortunately, doesn't look like he was able to return much. Hyper, in the meantime, strikes the first entry as they're trying to move into the actual site. They'll find the player hiding behind White, or will they? Geo comes out on top of the fight over hot and cold. Eclipse as well. He's gonna be able to get that pickup. Hyper is trying to go for a plant, but Chal is swinging out now. And no, TSM is going to win this one out along with the map here as they're able to deny the plant at the final moments. Well, with only 18 seconds remaining, TSM, it's do or die for you. But Dark Zero have multiple, multiple angles to hold. Bolo now spearheading his way into sight as he takes down Mint. Still holding the cross, has to contest one, but takes down one with a trade. Double kill for him on the round. Still looking for more. Looking for blood now, but it's up to him and Achieved as Achieved holds the cross. He's going to be on Overwatch. Can he win the initial gunfight? He can, and he follows it up with a double as well. TSM back to form up against Dark Zero. Chala taking some heavy hits, and he's now at sub-25. Apparently, he was looking for a run in those Nike free runs. I don't necessarily know what was going on there, but more hell breaks loose across the map as Mint picks up one, but Bolo immediately refrags on a swing at a 90 window. Still worried about someone hopping inside of his wolf, but doesn't have to worry about too much anymore. Geo's the only one on site. Bolo's still picking up the odds and ends off site, though. Contesting Red Stairs takes down Mint, and now it's on to timer for Dark Zero. Only 10 seconds remain here as they need to force themselves into sight. Case currently on hot and cold. Hyper inside of Planes and Games as well. They 
they try to force their way in. The ult is not powerful enough, though. 1v1, they have the Nitro Cell, but they don't know where he is. Bolo trying to contest. He sets the Nitro off, but the Flames are getting to Hyper. Is he going to get through it? He does. He's got one HP. This is doable, but he ends up getting down by Bolo. He fights his way through, but is he no Hyper's been down? He pre-fires anyways. That was such a scary situation as Hyper being the only operator playing Sophia that can res themselves. Things could have got real kooky right there. What a smart play from Bolo, though, in the 1vx scenario. About 10 seconds prior to when they've been doing it previously, there's still the Rome game to worry about, but they're aware of it. Hyper gets the catch on to achieve, but Bolo finds the initial response onto the execute. That's Eclipse going down, Chala trying to spam into it, but he's also aware of the connector pressure. No one committing to him, and Bolo still with a strong stance. He takes down Hotten, brings us down to the final 10 seconds. The case is down on the ground. They have to try and push to get it. Finally, Chala's dispatched up on the other end of it, but Bolo is still causing problems in the depths of Master. Another pickup oh, from him God. will close out the round and send us to OT here as TSM clutch out number 12. Oh, he's just nasty. There's no other way to put it. This guy lives and breeds excellence. It's actually insane how strong of a player Bolo can be. We're down to those final 15 seconds. Where is the play here from Dark Zero? And there it is. Hot and Cold works his way in. Is going to get the initial pick achieved and Bolo respond in kind, though. Hot and with the only pressure on the site right now, they need to make it work, but it's just not happening. TSM control the opening round of OT and are now only one round away away from a repeat grand final at the major oh well, finally something uh, to actually show some form of success here inside of this ot round bolo stepping up to the plate once again 13 4 and 7 right now second highest frags in the inside of the entire game only trailing skies who is still alive as well on that signature smoke 17, 3, and 9 for him standing outside of China Door. But still has to worry about quite a lot of things as well as the vertical play here that Achieves opened up. He takes down Skies, but it's an immediate fire back from Hyper as he works his way into dining. Wrapping around here now, though, Case starts for Geo inside of Kitchen. Does Geo know where this, or excuse me, Hyper know where this is as he begins to contest inside of Pantry? It's a swing. They're trying to contest multiple angles, but TSM shut them down, and that's it! Dark Zero are going home off of the back of what would seem to be a very paramount moment that just went idly by into the night. He'll have to fight his way out of this position. Not gonna be easy. Kali challenging him from server and he wins that fight. Shotgun comes out. Blast is a miss. The second one won't be though. Two kills for Merc. He's coming up big here. This is out some damage to Foltz. The SMG gets the third kill for Merc at the top of Red Stairs. And here's some support from Bolo, who whiffs all his shots. Three members of SSG stacked up in the same spot, but they're waiting for it. Rampy runs right into his death. Canadian is in next. Chala finished off. Thinky Nade will now need to cover. Canadian, where are you? You need to go for the plant at some point. Thinky Nade's the only one to watch you. Three members from TSM will come in, and it's the sidearm of the Kali of Thinky Nade. He guns one down, looks for the second, he grabs it, runs out into the Valkyrie. It's Merc versus Canadian. He gets them both. Two for the price of one. And Space Station just doesn't have the time to deal with them. So they'll lose faults on a long angle being played by the main staircase here. Merc picking up his second kill. He's C4s for the third, but... Nobody's there to catch it. He'll get it in the hallway. Bosco goes down and Merc rotating back into sight. On an entry here, Canadian and Rampy have forced their way into Arsenal. They've got site control by default plant in box one, but they're dealing with K9 now. That's Geo who wins his fight and the C4 for the second. Just yet. That's gonna be the Zofia who's going to be in that line of sight and there you go, but not enough damage done. Bolo evens the odds. Fultz takes out Chala. There's the pressure you need. Bolo down below. Oh no, he looks away at the wrong time, but finds Fultz nonetheless. The case is picked up, thinking Nade will have to go for the defuse with Bosco, be the only one alive until Geo punishes him. And then a Nitro Cell from Bolo will drive the dagger through the heart of Space Station. Win the round for Space Station alone. He even has a C4 if he loses track of his opponent. Geo gets into Cubby. C4 is there, but he's not using it as the flank from blue works out for TSM. Huge kills there from Chala. They allow for the plant to go down. And now Rampy, with almost no HP, is going to have to find four. It's not happening. And do some serious work from behind. There's a de double drop, actually, and a plant inside of Cubby. The explosive take into Arsenal gets two big kills for Achieved, but he's down by Thinking Nade. Now the last defender. He has to find four. He'll finish off his kill. But now in a post-plant, three frags on the board. It doesn't seem like it's likely to happen, though. 
as the long angle wins out for geo tsm will take map number one for by the front of white the garage is not really open so there's nothing that space station could do with that bathroom's not really a great entry point bosco's gonna die in smoke a second for merc on the yellow stairs and tsm absolutely shut out ssg 15 seconds it's gonna be a flurry we know that Rampy doesn't have a ton of HP, but he's going to have to try to go for a plant with a Nitro Cell in hand from the Malusi of Bolo and achieved. It's going to need to get tossed up, but Bosco shuts that one down. Chala's second kill is on the thinking name, but Rampy successful in his endeavor, and it's shut down by TSM. What a beautiful retake on their end on Geo and Tellers. And the Hibana might walk out without knowing about it. There goes Chala for two big kills. He's got three to his name, looking for a fourth. He's gonna need to do it all. But with seven seconds left, Bosco has no choice but to stick here. Chala, is he good enough? Yes, he is. TSM will now be on match point after that one. Low, it'll have to be the UMP that does the work. Geo will go for a plant, but there's the UMP. As you speak of it, it shall appear. Achieved, now the last attacker, and he's got a clash to deal with. The information being relayed here by the clash is huge. He might be able to get the clash with the nade. It might happen. There it is. The down. Beautiful play from Achieved. He gets his third kill. Now in a one versus one versus Rampy. He's going to have to push up spiral stairs. He's committed to that now with 15 seconds left. Achieved does not have a lot of options, and he doesn't know where his opponent is pushing up from. This is all Rampy all the time. Achieved is going to try and stick the plant. And he'll get it down. In post plant, he flicks up, sees his opponent, lands the shot! Incredible! Achieved in the 1v1, really a 1v2. He manages it, and TSM will take their second map. This is she needs to be really careful not to get hung up too much here, and Bosco might be undone by the play on the pillar. He knows that there's somebody there, but is he going to be powerless to do anything about it? If they decide to move, this will just be a heads-up gunfight, and Bosco has his gadget at the wrong time, allowing Merc to scamper off while Chala's been downed. Ten seconds, rubber hits the road for both of these teams. Chala not able to get picked back up. Fultz breaks in, that's the first kill of the round, and it comes with seven seconds left. There's nine people alive in two seconds in the server? What is going on? Finally, kills come in, and the clock's gonna get prolonged, but it's stopped at the final moment by Achieved's Nitro Cell. TSM takes the round, 30 seconds, so that pick for TSM is a good one. And they can translate that into more if they can find an almost immediate follow-up. They know the position of thinking they flush him out masterfully, and Geo is the one to collect that. Canadian's first kill comes in, and it's SSG's only one, but Bosco will soon join him. Canadian and Bosco now against Achieve Chala and Geo. 2v3, 10 seconds left. This could be a huge round for Space Station, and they're going to need to make something happen. As Geo will need to get this plan down with five seconds left. The Belusi gunned down. Canadian in a 1v3. He's got the Nitro Cell, and that should be it. He seals the deal, and the Diffuser is not able to be picked back up. Space Station win the round. Plant going down here from Geo. Good coverage from Merc. Achieved from above as well. The plant in Island will work out. It's all thinking, Nate. He has no C4. He has to go for the contact fights. He'll do some damage to Geo. It won't work, though, as Achieved shuts him down from above. There goes thinking, Nate, as Merc catches him off guard. Fultz is next in line of sight in that exact same position. Canadian will have no choice but to come back to the bomb site, but he's punished by Merc as well. There's another for Merc, three for him. He wanders right into the Malusi Banshee going wub, 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 wub. His gun does not find anything as Bosco slaps him away. Now a gas canister goes out to try and deny entry from his back, but Bosco turns. He's extremely vulnerable. We'll have to contend with the diffuser being planted as well. He's not going to make it too far. Only four seconds after that diffuser goes down. It's never really used by teams, and he can make something work with it. Down goes Canadian and thinking nade as it's Merc with a big two-piece as the action unfolds in front of our eyes. Chala is a second away from getting this diffuser down. Fultz nor Rampy are able to stop it, but gun in hand, Rampy takes the business to Bolo and he wins that gunfight. Fultz is lulled out of his position. He sees the diffuser on the ground. He'll have to go for it, but he knows that he'll be exposed. He shrugs off a little bit of damage. Rampy found below a triple kill from Merc. Merc has just absolutely come alive and is thriving as Fultz snaps onto Geo inside a master, but a single point of HP for Fultz means that disabling this diffuser is going to be mighty challenging. He goes on it to attempt it, falls off as a flash goes in front of his eyes. Nothing he can do with that SMG out, so he'll pull out the shotgun, manages to claim Merc, and goes immediately onto the diffuser. Chal is going to need to stop him, and there he is. A single bullet will be the undoing of Fultz. And that's position there, we don't know. Merc's in the bomb site. One for thinking they Merc, Merc finds one. Chal gets one as well. TSM, they win it all! Every single kill is theirs, and they'll take the trophy as well. North America has a new champion.